For the purposes of answering the question, I'm going to assume we mean factually wrong as opposed to morally wrong. In a case of factually wrong, it's, I think, easier to indicate that there are other facts. Okay. We can pull out facts or look up information online if it's a good source. Uh, if it's something about, say, designing concrete, you know, you can look at a book and you can, you can sh show evidence. And that's, because it's fact, it's fairly neutral. The one thing that I would suggest for allowing the person to save face, though, is to not do that in front of others. No, 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 that's wrong. It depends on the person. Some people really can take that in stride, but generally speaking, it's always better to have that kind of conversation on a one-on-one -on -one basis. If somebody is perhaps you feel morally wrong, I think the best approach, if you really feel you have to say something, be, again, possibly confidentially, certainly not confrontationally, but maybe an illustrative story that doesn't seem to be the same situation, but you explain something in a way that they can be neutral about until they get to the end and they realize, oh wait, that's my position on this other issue. Uh, if you're going to point out maybe that it's wrong to be prejudiced against a whole group based on the actions of a few, you may uh, think of an example where that's like at a schoolyard or something that's just so simple and, and it doesn't have that person's emotional investment. And I think I would commend Star Trek Next Generation for doing that. I remember watching a few shows where I was surprised by the end, oh, I didn't realize, you know, I was looking at this view that we hold and we don't realize we hold that view until you get to the end of the story and they kind of make it a little bit clearer and it helps you examine why you think what you think or maybe that you need to rethink something. So thank you for the opportunity to answer that question. <laughs> Any other person want to take the challenge? Try that. It's very useful. It's like a fact. Okay. Practice. I have not talked today, so I thought I should talk. Tracy has explained it very nicely. And I was thinking that the same situation happens in different stages of our life. For my son, 16 years old, I just slam. <laughs> There's no other way. One sentence, delivered message, done. If I want to repeat or add some more, he will reply me back. So, done. <laughs> For my dad, how I was doing that, I cannot able to do the same way. So I had to give him a cup of tea. Do you want a cup of tea? Why are you thinking like that? This is this is wrong. The most thing he was doing, he had 16 tablets to eat, to take uh, each time, and he was dropping one or two. And he was thinking that that's okay, it's just one tablet. But he, that's making his body unstable. So I had to go nicely with him. You cannot do that. When it was when it's our uh, my supervisor, that is the difficult thing, the difficult <laughs> moment. How I should approach that? I have tried different other maths process, and the one you were mentioning, uh, the story does not work because they're the superior, they have the superpower. So the another process is inform it to his boss. That is not always accessible. The third process that I am taking now is that I give my opinion and then keep a open-ending question. What is the suggestion? What do you think? This is the reason I am doing it. Do you have any other better approach? And think about, I don't have much time. I am in time crunch. I go on like that. What is your idea? Some, sometimes he takes it, sometimes he not, but that's the best uh, process because it does not cause my stress level high because I am remaining nice. And it does not cause me any retaliation or extra work because I was not, I could have to take the uh, hard thing. But I am telling you the difficult aspect is when I need to inform it to my supervisor that this is not right, this is wrong.
very, very good one. Okay. okay. Good. Anybody want to take another try? Okay, I can give. Okay. I've listened to two point stories, you know, and I want to bring my own uh, shot on this one. You know, you have you have right and wrong I approach to, to something, uh, you know, and we have and this approach is standing in a, in the structure of organization. So, in structure organization, uh, any organization are structure very, very simple. Somebody on top and everything going to bottom. And it's military structure, police structure, state structure, you know, it's everything kind of the same. And I find myself in a position that I have a feeling that I'm 100% right on some kind of issues. And I was uh, dealing with my superiors on that and, 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 and trying to persuade or, or, or give my fa factual stories about, about somebody else. else. And what's happening, very, not, not always, but I would say 20% of the time, when I, when my idea was not accepted by, by my supervisor or my colleagues or something, you know, I, I was having another thought process and I see how, how was I wrong with that. So our understanding in this particular moment that I'm 100% right, doesn't, doesn't make us right. And especially when the subject is sensitive, especially when it's political subjects, you know, it's better to rely on the, on the structure of organization, on the experience of the supervisor or, or, or above, because you want to play as a team player, not necessarily kind of go against everything. And it's, it's a fine line. You should not go all the time against yourself. But from one side, from other side, you cannot be saying that you are 100% right all the time because you have a feeling about this uh, other subject and others. It's, it's, it's actually what we get in paid to kind of be able to kind of swing uh, than that, you know, swing to the left and to the right and, and try to be useful and, and, and not to interfere too much with your own, per, you know, thing and not to interfere too much with organizational structures. It's, a, it's an art of, art of, art of you know, Surviving in the, in the organization and be useful for the same organization and and keep yourself mentally intact. <laughs> it's about it. Okay. 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 Thank you. Thank you very. That's very helpful information. And everybody experienced 